to leave this town Cause lately I've been feeling down The cold nights just don't feel the same Bienvenidos a Sevilla. Welcome to Spain, guys. This is the city that my father's from, and I spent a large portion of my childhood, like, right here. Yeah. Yo, texting girls is never easy. Rule number one, always keep her guessing. All right, bro, let's say that you're texting a girl you like, but sometimes she doesn't reply back to you. Sometimes she takes hours or even days to get back to you. How does that make you feel? It's probably frustrating, but at the same time, it probably makes you want her even more. And the same thing goes for girls. Humans are just naturally drawn towards things that seem unpredictable or unknown. It's just a lot more exciting. So here's what I recommend that you do. First of all, vary your response time. If you're texting the girl and you're not doing anything, it's okay to reply back to her right away and have kind of like a rapid fire conversation. But let's say you're about to go to the gym or you're at work or you're just doing something. Then even if she messaged you and you see it, it's all right to leave that message on read for a few hours before you get back to her. Also, don't always reply to her. If she sends you a direct question, well, that's probably something that you should reply to. But if you guys have been texting back and forth for a little bit and then she sends you something like this, well, that could be an opportunity to put the phone down and just get back to her one day or two days later because that's gonna drive her crazy. My favorite part about this city is, actually it's the food. I was gonna say it's like the amazing temperature, just how beautiful every way you look, how beautiful everything is, but it's definitely the food. Number two, prioritize your life. If the main thing that you're thinking about or worrying about through your day is, when is she gonna text me next? Or when am I gonna see this girl again? then even if you're not trying to, you're gonna come off as needy and she's gonna realize that she's the priority in your life and that's the least attractive thing that can happen. So all you need to do is prioritize your hobbies and your goals ahead of the girl because not only will that make you just fundamentally more attractive, but now when she sends you that message that everybody sends, what are you up to? You don't have to just say, nothing, how about you? Or just at the gym again, how about you? Now you're actually gonna have like cool, interesting shit to say without even trying. And that's why I decided to partner with Skillshare to be the sponsor of today's video. If you're not familiar, Skillshare is basically a massive online learning community with over 25,000 courses in basically every area you can think of from business to filmmaking to entrepreneurship. For example, right now I'm taking a course on there about how to make viral content so that more people share my videos. And guys, the best part about Skillshare is that premium membership is less than $10 per month and that gives you access to unlimited courses so you can always be learning new things to talk about and becoming just a more well-rounded man. And not only that, because Skillshare is sponsoring the video today, the first 500 guys to click that first link in description are gonna get two full months of premium membership completely free. Sun in Spain has to be like twice as strong as the Texas sun. Yeah. Do you put sunscreen on? No, I'm burning. She, it's so stupid. Like, look, I'm pale and I'm proud of it. Like my last name, De Los Marinas, when I was in grade school, the substitute teachers would come in and they'd be like, David De Los Mar Marinas. They'd be like, oh, that's not you. They didn't believe me. Number three, the thoughtful message. So y'all know that we generally don't ask fish for advice on, on how to catch fish. You ask a fisherman. Yeah, but this fish knows what's up. A lot of guys make the mistake of not complimenting girls because they don't want to come off as the nice guy. But in reality, girls like to be complimented. Yeah, but you gotta be careful here, bro. 
only every once in a while. For example, if you saw her today or you went on a date with her last night, you can send a message like this. You wanna make sure it is very specific and it's not generic like, oh, you're hot or you're looking good today. The other way that you can incorporate this is just by following up on something that she told you about. Like if she said her favorite singer is Drake, then it's gonna be funny and she's gonna like it if you send a message like this. It shows that you're actually listening to her and it's very attractive. But again, guys, don't be sending messages like this every day. You know, maybe once a week or so. Man, it's already confusing enough here because the weights are in kilos, so I always have to be dividing everything by 2.2. But to make things even more confusing, not only do they have 20 kilo plates, which is like 45 pounds, they also have 25 kilo plates, which is like 55 pounds, and I didn't realize it. So I was using the heavier plates, thinking they were 45s, and no wonder everything felt so heavy. Anyway, number four, don't put up with her BS. Any mildly attractive girl is gonna have a lot of guys that are texting her and trying to get with her, so it's just human nature that girls uh, are gonna fuck with you. They're not trying to be mean, they're just used to guys being so needy that no matter what they do or say, guys just keep texting them and trying to get with them, and that's why you have to, you have to, bro. You have to set yourself apart. So let's say you're texting a girl and you ask if she can hang out sometime, and then she says this. That's straight up rude, bro. I've had girls do this to me many times because she's not saying, I don't know my plans, can I get back to you? She's basically saying, I don't wanna go on a date with you, but I want you to keep texting me because I like that validation. So my recommendation here is to stop texting her. I know it's hard, but if she actually cares about hanging out with you, she'll get back to you. But if you really wanna text the girl, then use this text right here because this puts the ball back in her court and she'll get back to you. If she wants to hang out, she'll get back to you. If not, you can move on with your life. So we are at Goiko Grill, and from what I remember, this is the best hamburger that I've ever had like ever. Also, we're here with Caroline, Julia's good friend. Hi everyone. You're not ready for these burgers. I don't think I will ever be. So I went with the same thing I got last time. It's called the Kevin Bacon and it has like bacon and cheese baked into the ground beef like before they grill it and some fries. Ready, take a look at the inside of that. Let's see if it's good, if it's as good as I remember. Honestly, it's even better. Like who would have thought the best hamburger in the world would be in Spain. Number five, understand your motives. So after you get a girl's number, you should take the time to remind yourself, why did you even ask her for her number in the first place? And really regardless of whether you're looking for just a quick hookup or a long-term girlfriend, Lucky for you, the first step you take should be the same thing, which is just meeting up with her as soon as possible because a true connection with someone can't happen and sex can't happen unless you see them in person. I just see so many guys make the mistake of texting girls just to text them, you know, just because you want the validation and because you're too afraid if you ask her out, she's gonna reject you. That's why you need to remind yourself, why did you get her number? It's because you wanna hang out with her, bro. So make sure you actually ask her to hang out as soon as possible. The sooner, the better. And that is going to wrap this video up. If you made it to the end, give it a thumbs up. If you're new to the channel, click subscribe and turn notifications on because I drop new videos every Monday and every Thursday and you don't wanna miss them. You know I got some more dope videos from Spain coming your way soon. Talk to you in the next video. Stay beastly. Yeah.